Troy Deeney explains growing gulf in quality between EFL and Premier League. On average, at least one newly promoted club gets relegated from the Premier League each season. This term we look set to lose too, with Norwich City and Watford running out of time to mount great escapes. Brentford, who were promoted last year via the playoffs, did their survival chances the world of good after thumping the Canaries at the weekend. But, according to Troy Deeney, the gap between the quality in the Premier League and the championship is getting bigger and bigger. Deeney, who won two promotions to the top flight with Watford, believes the footballing intelligence in the Premier League is through the roof. Is the gulf between the Premier League and the championship getting bigger? Let us know in the comments appearing as a pundit on Match of the Day 2. Deeney, now at Birmingham City, spoke about what he perceives as an ever-widening gulf in class between the second tier and the Premier League. I think it's getting bigger and bigger, said the 33-year-old. Covid played a big part in that, with grounds going without income obviously. You've seen huge teams in the championship now, such as Reading and Derby, teams that would normally be up there, financially struggling. The difference is, you can't make a mistake in the Premier League. In the championship you can make four or five mistakes and you'll probably not pay for it. In the Premier League, one mistake and you're done. And the quality is just that good. The footballing intelligence, when you go to the Premier League, is through the roof. It's something we always say, but there's not an easy game. You could be playing Burnley, Leicester, Palace and then Man City, that's four different types of games. In the championship it's very simple, me versus you, who wants it more? That's 90% of the games. Recent seasons have seen a sprinkling of newly promoted sides catch the eye. Sheffield United and Leeds United both posted highly impressive ninth-placed finishes in their maiden seasons back at the top table. But the Blades followed that up with a sobering relegation last season, whilst Leeds are battling to avoid a similar fate this year. Touching on the second season syndrome topic, fellow MOTD2 pundit and former Liverpool midfielder Danny Murphy said, the top end of the pitch is just so ruthless in the Premier League. Obviously the defenders are better as well, but the real difference that you see is in the final third. We've seen Sheffield United and Leeds come up in recent seasons and do well because they're on that buzz and that confidence. I think there's a reason in the second season why sometimes teams struggle. It's maybe because they get individually and collectively into a comfort zone. Maybe they think they've made it. And also other teams suss them out a little bit. But it is getting more difficult for championship sides to stay in the Premier League consistently. There is a fear of the Premier League becoming a closed shop for many sides, especially after Watford and Norwich bounced back immediately last season, something that Fulham are poised to replicate, given they are well clear at the top of the championship. Since the Premier League's formation in 1992, only three seasons have seen all three promoted sides survive. 